Hello everyone, this is Minister LT, and it's always a blessing to be ministered another word from my Heavenly Father God. And today, we're going to be talking about ask not, receive not. There's a lot of people out there in the world today, you're not asking God whatever it is that you want, you want God to do in your life. You're talking about it, which lets me know it's on your mind. You're praying about it, that let me know again that it's in your heart. And that's fine and dandy that you're talking about it, you're praying about it, but when are you going to be bold enough and start asking God for whatever it is that you want him to do? When are you going to be bold enough to start asking God whatever it is that He wants you that you want him to turn around in your life? That's when you're going to see God move on your behalf. But you got to be bold enough and brave enough and you got to ask God whatever it is. That's why this message right here today, whoever listening to it right now, I believe and I declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus, somebody going to be bold enough today and they're going to ask God whatever it is that's on their mind. They're going to ask God whatever it is that's on their heart and you will see how your Heavenly Father God is going to turn up and show it in your life. But once you ask, ask for it, you will see that it's already yours. Amen. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give my Heavenly Father God the thanks and the praise and the glory because He deserves it all. I want to thank your Heavenly Father God for blessing me and all your children today for another beautiful and awesome day today. Thank you for the breath that you put inside our lungs today. Thank you for our health today. Thank you for our strength today. Thank you for our eyesight today. Thank you for our hearing today. Thank you for our voice today that we can thank you, praise you, and glorify your holy name, Jesus. We want to say thank you because of who you are. We want to thank you because whatever we ask you for that you will do, oh Heavenly Father God, no matter what we go through in life, you always right there for us, oh Heavenly Father God. For that reason right there, we want to thank you. We want to thank you because how you died on that cross for all our sins, oh Heavenly Father God. We want to thank you no matter what. We won't have nobody to turn to. You always right there for us. We want to thank you no matter what who turn their back against us. You will never turn your back against us, Jesus. For that reason right there, we're going to thank you. We're going to praise you. We're going to glorify your holy name just because you deserve to be praised. You deserve to be glorified each and every day, Jesus. And we want to say thank you because we're going to keep lifting you up. We're going to keep praising you. We're going to keep glorifying your name because you deserve it all. For that reason right there, you deserve to be thanks. You deserve to be praised. You deserve to be glorified each and every day, but because you awesome. There's no God like our God can do what you can do. Oh, heaven, Father God, for that reason right there, you deserve to be thanks. Amen? Amen. Now, we're about to get into this word, ladies and gentlemen. And I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bibles to Mark chapter 11 and real reading from verse 24. That's Mark 11, verse 24. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. It said, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And that right there, y'all, it's a blessing. That's why this message today, ask not, receive not. That's why some of y'all is not getting nothing from God right now because you're not asking. You're talking about it. You're wishing about it. And you're praying about it, which is not bad at all. I'm not telling you not to do neither one of those. But when are you going to be bold enough to start asking God whatever it is that you want? And I'm just going to start with, start with the ladies, the women today, whatever it is. Some of y'all are not asking God for whatever, that you, for whatever it is that you're not asking God for. Some of y'all are ask, y'all looking for that man. You're talking about that man, but you're not asking God to God to bring that man to you. And the reason why you're not asking for it, because you're not receiving it. That's why some of y'all right now probably going through a hard time with a with a, with that guy right now. Maybe that guy probably doing you wrong. Maybe that guy probably abusing you. He I'm um, cheating on you or whatever it is. But once once you ask God, once you ask God to bring that man to you, he gonna make sure that man that he got for you is not gonna do you wrong. He's not gonna cheat on you. He's not gonna abuse you. He's gonna love you because who you are, you is his diamond. You is his princess. You is his diamond jewel. When you ask God for that, God going to send that, that perfect man to you. And the same thing goes for my brothers out there as well. You're not asking God for that woman. You're chasing all around town looking for this girl, this girl, and you're still not finding no love. But once you get bold enough and ask God to God to bring that perfect woman to you, he going to make sure that woman that he bring to you, she going to treat you like a king, like you deserve to be treated like a king. She going to treat you like royalty. But you got to ask God for whatever it is. Some of y'all out there right now not asking God 
for doors to open. You're talking about it. You're praying about it. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But when are you going to be bold enough to ask God for God to open them doors for you? When are you going to ask God to start turning things around from you? You got to ask first, y'all. You got to be bold enough and ask God to do these things for you. But when you ask for it, the word of God says you got to believe it. And once you believe it, you shall receive it. Hallelujah. So now, ladies, are you going to ask God today? For um, God to turn things around for you, maybe it might be in your finances, maybe it might be uh, you're looking for a husband, maybe it might, it might be for a better job, or maybe it might be that you want to look for, you, you, um, you want a child. Whatever it is that they, whatever it is that you're asking God for, when are you going to be bold enough to ask God right now to move on you? And once you ask for it, you got to believe it, ladies. And once you believe it, you shall receive it, because this is what the Word of God is saying right now. That is a promise. And they go the same thing for my brothers too as well. Maybe y'all are that asking right now for God to open up a door. Maybe that you asking God you want God to, to bring you that wife. Maybe that you want God to turn things around in your life. Maybe that you want God to bless you with a new home or whatever it is to turn your finances around. Whatever it is that you want God to do, you got to ask for it. Ask for it Believe it, and the word of God said you should receive it. That is a promise right there, y'all. So when are you going to be bold enough to do it? And I believe and declare right now, whoever listen to this message right now, somebody today is going to be bold enough. They're going to ask God for whatever it is they want God to do. And I believe and I declare right now that it's already done. I guarantee you that it's done. I will agree with you that it's done. Hallelujah. Because that's what the word of God is saying right now. Now, who's going to be bold enough to ask God today? Who's going to be bold enough to ask God for whatever it is that what you want God to do? And you ain't got to be one thing. God said it, it don't matter what it is. Put it on him. He wants you to tell him whatever it is that you want him to do in your life. It might be a hundred things. If there's a hundred things, there's no number too small for God or too big for God. Y'all? So don't think that you that you getting on his nerve, but you keep asking. He wants you to ask. That's why this message for ask not, receive not. So if you're not asking God for doing anything in your life, if you're not asking God to turn things around in your life, if you're not asking God for his favor and his greatness, then how are you going to receive it? You're not going to receive it, y'all, until you ask. Start asking for it. Start believing it. And once you do that, you shall receive it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because that is a promise But your heavenly Father God said he will do for you. That's a promise. Now, I'm about to end my, I'm about to end this um, message right now. I believe and declare right now somebody going to ask today. And it's already done. Ask y'all. Believe it and receive it. It's already yours. And if you receive this message today, shout out amen. And I never like to leave my show or broadcast without leaving with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in y'all life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Withers, capital W-I-T-H-E-R-S dot L-T. Or you can leave me a comment on my Instagram at Withers dot L-T. I'm asking y'all again, ask for Believe it, and you shall receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is Minister LT. I love y'all, and y'all always stay blessed. In Jesus' name, and keep them first place.